Okay, this is a video about uh, binary hashing. So suppose we have a hash table that looks like this after we entered um, in turn cow, dog, pig, ape, and cat. Okay, so these uh, have all fallen into empty slots and so right now we have a situation where all of them have a search of length one. Okay, so the, the best possible. All right, and now uh, comes a new element, uh, new, and um, and uh, new um, comes into this place, cow, and it is of a blue kind, so um, um, its steps follow the blue arrows. Okay, so it would go here, and then here, and then here, and then here, and here, and here, and then back back again to the beginning. Okay, so if we just um, use um, regular double hashing, um, then it would cost us um, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six um, uh, steps to to enter it. So the next time that we search for new, um, it will again cost us six. Okay, so um, that's the most basic method. Uh, Brent method is a little better, right? So Brent method takes this element new um, and uh, puts it in here, but um, and then starts to follow the arrows. But every place it also um, considers the possibility of bumping the element that is in there and putting it somewhere else. Okay, so if we do this, get to new here. Um, if we bump new, it will take a long time for cow to get to here. Um, so we consider bumping dog, and if we bump dog, then um, it will go here, which is occupied, and then here, so that's not going to be very good. Um, pig is not going to be very good, but ape is going to be good, right? So if we basically uh, follow Brent, what we get is um, one, two, three, four, and then ape will jump here, five. So we'll put new here, and ape will get bumped to here. Okay, so that is better than six, it's five, so, so Brent is indeed better than just regular double hashing. However, that's not uh, the best. Um, we can do even better, right? So we push new to here, and then um, maybe jump with new to here, and then we're going to bump dog, and so we're going to push dog to here, okay? And now um, dog is in here, and uh, we're going to bump ape, and so we're going to put ape here, okay? And how many steps does that take us? That is um, one, two, three, four. So that's even better. So we see that we can, we can um, by doing multiple steps of bumping, um, we can get a solution that is uh, better than um, Brent. Okay. So uh, now let's look at uh, how this can be done more in general, and that's really the binary tree method. Okay. So in the binary tree method, we basically consider bringing in new into the root of the tree. And um, cow is what's already in the tree. Okay, so um, again, if I denote that this is uh, this is the new element, and this is what's already there, and uh, we consider two options: either bumping the new one to the next place, so going uh, from new um, from the cow uh, place to the dog place, or bumping the cow, and now the cow is with the dog. Okay. And then we can continue from there. So here, new came in, and either it bumps um, uh, the dog, so the dog goes here, or it bumps, I it gets bumped. So it goes here and gets to the next place. So what you see is basically that we're really checking uh, all the possibilities, and the binary tree structure is because we start at the initial place that um, were mapped, and um, then we go one direction if we bump the newcomer, so that's basically just saying, okay, there's no place here, better search in the next place, or 
um, we go to the right if we bump the resident. Okay, so the resident is what's already in this, what has been um, in this node, so it gets bumped, so now it's here. And now this one gets bumped, so now the dog is here. Okay, and um, if we continue with that, we get this uh, full tree where basically the uh, level in the tree corresponds to how much it costs us, right? So if, if we could put new directly in an empty place, that would cost us only one. So that would be the best. But we can't do that because that's occupied. So we go to one level of bumping, and, um, and that's this second place. And uh, then to third level of bumping, and then to fourth level of bumping. And you see that every time we do that, there is many more, there's, there's double the number of uh, possibilities. So that's the binary search. And what we do essentially is we stop once we reach a level in which we basically have an element going into an empty place. So, um, so what we have here is one solution where ape goes into an empty place and it turns out that there's another solution where ape um, goes to, to an empty place. And um, and um, what what this is is basically that new gets bumped, then it bumps the dog. Sorry about this. And then yeah, I guess I can write here dog. And then um, it can uh, then then the uh, dog gets bumped, um, and then the ape gets bumped. Okay. But alternatively, we can have that the new immediately bumps the cow, and then the cow goes to the dog, and then the dog goes to the ape and the ape goes to the end. So that these two uh, possibilities are equal cost. The, the possibilities that uh, are from Brent are um, new coming in and then it gets bumped and bumped and bumped until it reaches ape and then ape moves and gets to position five. Um, this is another solution that is as good as Brent but uh, would not be found by Brent because it requires um, um, more than more than one uh, bumping of uh, of an element from its place. Okay, so um, so that's more or less uh, it for uh, binary hash trees.